everyone. I'm so excited that you joined us today. God gives wisdom to those who ask for it. Now, wisdom is not just about being smart. It's way more than that. Imagine having a friend that knows everything. Everything about us and everything about the whole world and promises us so many things. We all have that friend and his name is Jesus. Imagine asking him the question, what, where, how, why, when, and he'd be able to answer those questions because Jesus is just that wise. Is that friend that knows everything. Now, I'm sure you know an owl. An owl is really old and he's usually in storybooks and movies and he has gray hair and he is usually known as the wise owl and he sits on a leaf or a tree or a stump and goes coo coo because he's very wise. Do you know that we have Jesus and he is even wiser than an owl? Now we get wisdom from Jesus, like I said in the beginning, when we ask for it and he promises to give it to us. Now, how do you think that we can become wise? Imagine having books that we can go through to get wisdom. Aha, I know a book that we can get where we can get wisdom and learn so much more about how we can get wise. I'm sure you know too. It's the Bible, which is God's word. That's how we can get wise. And God promises us that when we ask for wisdom, he will give it to us. Hey guys, today I'm going to explain to you all about wisdom. In the Bible, we read that Jesus told his disciples a story about wisdom. The story is all about two men in two houses. The story goes like this. One of the men wanted to live very close to the beach, so he decided to build a house right there on the sand. He grabbed his building materials, his hammer, wood and everything. And soon after that, his house was ready, he moved in and he was happy. Meanwhile, the second man, was really wanted to live near and closer to the beach. But instead of building his house on the sand, he built his house on a rock. Because he thought, mm, building a house on the sand, I think it's not gonna be a great idea. So, off he goes. He built his house. Soon after that, his house was ready. He moved in and he enjoyed the beautiful view. Soon after that, a storm, a big storm, had hit both their houses. The wind was so strong, it was raining and raining and raining, that the uh, water from the sea had flooded the house and destroyed the house that was built right there at the by the sand. Oh, that was devastating. But the man who built the house in the rock, he wasn't even worried. He knew that he made a good decision and a good choice to build his house on the rock. Now you see that Jesus have used this story to remind us that wisdom is all about making good choices. Choices that help us have a good life and help others to have a good life. You see, the Bible says in the book of James that if we ask for wisdom, he will give it to us. God also have 
blessing us, has given us a special book that is the Bible. The Bible, it is, is full of God's promises. And also, it, if you don't know, the Bible is not just a big book. It is a collection, a whole bunch of books that through that, it's full of instructions on how to live a good life. You must remember the wisdom is not about being smart or being good. It's about to do what God wants us to do. I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye. I remember verse for today comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 20. And it says, God has made a great many promises. They are all yes, because of what Christ has done. So through Christ, we say amen. We want to God to receive glory. Let's pray together. Dear God, we thank you so much for the Bible. We thank you that through you we can ask for wisdom and that you can help us to become wise. We thank you for your love and for your protection. We ask this in your beautiful name. Amen. I hope that you have a wonderful week.